I'll send you a list. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. I want to dance more. The dances are too short. Meridian, huh? I see it every day, and I'm still amazed. We're really starting to put down roots. It's wonderful. Did I tell you? The team's working with the Angara to set up a joint research body. We still need you on the ship. I'm not giving up the Tempest, Ryder. I just also hope to be involved with the Angaran scientists. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? <sighs> I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. Joint research body cooperation with the Angara? You're planning a party, right? Of course. Nothing builds a team like a good whiskey and a laugh. You'd better show up, Ryder. We wouldn't be here if not for you. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. All right, Lexi. Still standing. Still standing. Then I did my job. Somehow. Nothing more need be said. There's one thing. Dr. Lexi Tapero, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that did it. You jerk. Go on. I have a reputation to protect. You guys are just chilling there? No problem, random broken guys. <laughs> hey, Ryder. Jill is walking the walk. The procedure took. I'm gonna be a dad. Congratulations. I'm thinking Mary if it's a girl, Deanne if it's a boy. Mary, Deanne, Mary Deanne. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> Pretty cool. Knew you'd like it. So, this is supposed to be a celebration, right? You getting used to any of this yet? Meridian? The dream becoming a reality? It's a lot to take in. I'm still in the pinching myself phase. Well, I'm sure everyone here would be happy to line up and give you a pinch. <laughs> but so you know, I've got the Tempest topped out and ready. You want to blow this hot dog stand? Just say the word. Callow's out there somewhere, time one on. If we're really sneaky, he won't even notice we're gone. Who's flying then? You? Why the hell not? I'm a quick study. How hard can it be? You better get this nonsense out of your system in the next nine months, you know. <laughs> Little Mary's gonna have a fun dad. I have no doubt of that. Alright, anything else down this way? Glad to have you. Who is left to talk to? Where is Callow? I didn't see him. It's... Hmm. How the hell did I miss Callow? I'm not even gonna finish this epilogue up if we don't find him. He said he's tying one off. Is he... Up here? No, not up right. there. That's where it came from. And it just loops around at the same thing. Let's look at the map. We do have technology. Oh. Ryder. Enjoying the fruits of your labor? You deserve it. Thanks, Callow. The Tempest is getting some much-needed service. I thought I'd leave them to it. But I wouldn't miss the big day. Meridian looks so different out of the cockpit. I think I understand better why you do what you do. Thinking of trading in your pilot's chair for some muddy boots? Not even slightly. I know what I'm good for. I don't pretend to understand everything, but Meridian must have opened a lot of doors. Not all of them safe. I want you to know that it'll be my privilege to keep flying you to them. It means a lot that you want to stick with us, Callum. Of course. And keeping my ship is a plus. I've learned a lot from you, Ryder. And Gil. Don't, please don't <laughs> tell him that. Things will change now, but that's all right. Nothing's ever really lost. All right. I don't think there's really much left to do out there. What are you? Darla Spass. Up straight, everyone. This is the guest of honor. Well, like you have to tell anyone that. Hunter, this is our opening. Let there be some sense of ceremony. As I was about to say, hello, Pathfinder. I am Chief of Operations, Ayora Pile. 
Second wave placements officer, Darla Vass Hyperion. Hunter Carey, reconstruction. This is the first I've heard of the term second wave. It isn't Not actually. True. There have been several groups deployed for outposts. Second wave is about the staged evolution of the initiative. First wave out of cryo, structural support and generalists. Food and fences. Second wave is organizational. Less generalists, more specialists. More paperwork. It's needed to rapidly advance. I'm not spending a generation on the range. Sounds like Meridian is in good hands. I can only read the reports of how you brought us this opportunity, but rest assured, we will not waste it. Yes. Thank you, Pathfinder. Aye, what they said. <laughs> Alright, let's get to the ship and just see if there is anything. I, I'm sure there's like a couple things. I want my movie night. I swear I'm going to be crushed if movie night never was a thing. This seems like it would have been the perfect way. We really better follow up with some Making of this stuff. Making a quiet exit. I can't stop thinking of what I could be doing. How much is still out there? There's always more. That is what brought us to Andromeda. I tried to think of a way to honor what you did. Some protocol. There isn't one. Your father invented this rule. But you defined it. This is great and all, but it feels weird to be on a ship that isn't moving. We're explorers. There's more to see out there. Let's go find it. Channeling Captain Kirk feelings there. Good, good, good call. Very Star Trek-y ending there. I appreciate that. Like I said, I really hope the rumors that have been going around about uh, Mass Effect getting backburnered are not true. Oh man, no sound. There we go. They're even doing like a Star Trek warp off. That was pretty cool. Anyway, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, there's probably some stuff in the journal to deal with in some way, but doesn't really look like, yeah, there's nothing there. It's all grayed out. There's just the additional tasks, but those are mostly, there is a final interview, I guess, but I'm not really going to do that now. And, uh... What happens Sam, when we actually get out? That's 100% viability on all known UNCs, Pathfinder. Please access the Tempest VidCon for an important update. All Tempest right, VidCon. I guess we have a... All right. Got a couple more things to check in on, I guess. It would be good also to. You have to, uh... outstanding, Pathfinder. That's fine. Don't worry Lexi, about it. Lexi, I hear Sarah's doing well. Is it gonna... What was I going to say? Uh, it would be good to go figure out that Sam note thing. And we haven't woken up Mom yet, either. There's a new task because we hit 100% viability? It is a significant milestone, Pathfinder. Preparations have been made for some time. I need to know if there's another expectation because of this. Updating objectives. You have a high priority destination. Okay, I guess we have another thing to do. At Habitat 7? What's going on? I have been instructed to not reveal mission parameters. Don't be late, Pathfinder. Hmm. We get like an S ending or something because we got the 100% viability? I'm not gonna say no to that. I'm kinda happy there's an extra mission to do. Alright. Well. Writer does lead us to interesting places. Think there's anywhere more interesting orbits. than Meridian? 
If there is, we'll find out. I'm picking up something. All right, let's see what's out there. Planet got less crappy. It wasn't that crappy to start with. It was all messed up and broken. Good to go I'm back to where to it all started. So, back at Habitat 7. What am I supposed to see? And what's it got to do with 100% viability? I'm getting initiative signals. Magnetosphere charges and atmosphere probes. The vault here remains non-functional. But with 100% viability to invest, we've begun terraforming this world with initiative technology. Hmm. The good old-fashioned hard way. It'll eventually be a home too, thanks to you. My father would like that. There is one more item, Pathfinder. Opening channels to the Nexus, Meridian, Podromos, Deteon, Tevuni, New Tachanka, and Initiative Allies. By unanimous vote, this world is to be renamed. Habitat 7 is now listed astronomically as Rider 1. Aww. Your world, Pathfinder. Their future. Well, that was a nice little ending. So, I suppose we are actually done now. So, I want to thank you all for watching. I'm going to check. Oh. Hmm. Really? I guess Carrie wants to do something every time. Every time. Let's see what. Sh we can go wrap that up real quick, I guess. It was sad to say goodbye to the game anyway. There's really not much else for me to do. I probably will do another playthrough on my own. But that was actually a pretty long game. That's going to take a bit. Hope uh, PB doesn't read my email. Carrie definitely said love Carrie in there. I know what it is about Asari. There's Liara and then PV and Carrie. I just can't say no. Oh, we're missing an arc. It's so sad. I have to do some research online to figure out if that DLC is supposed to be coming out. Hey, there's a different camera angle now. I really appreciate a different camera angle. Thank you, game. Because there's a lot less stuff to visit on the Nexus now. Half of the Nexus locations were actually on Hyperion, so. Alright, where are you, Carrie? Bust that out. This part of the game always feels weird when pretty much everything's done. Hmm. Pathfinder, do you have just a minute? You made it back. You always come back. I had someone I wanted to come back to. Ryder. Everything will change now. I want to start documenting Meridian, and I guess you'll be busy too. Not everything will change. Not if we don't want it to. Well then, we'll both have something to hold on to. Meridian that was it? I thought I was going to get interviewed again. All right, well, I guess now for reals, it's the end. So I want to thank you all if you managed to watch this. I don't know how many videos it's going to be. I have so many episodes that have not been rendered yet. It's going to be well over 100, probably like 150 or more. Uh, I want to thank you again for watching. And if there is DLC, I will, of course, play that. I'm going to be finishing up Dragon Age this week as well.